My name is Henny. When I was young, I was a very playful girl. I don't really focus much on studying, especially when I was in primary school. At that point of time, actually, I don't think it has ever come across my mind that I would do well in my studies eventually and become a lawyer. My PSLE scores only allowed me to enter a neighbourhood school in the normal academic stream. I joined um, the English Drama and Debate Society. I realised that I'm able to harness the skills of debating. So it was at a point of time I started to really recollect my thoughts and think that, OK, I should work towards this path. My grandmother never lose faith. She only told me that, you I always get a bit emotional when I talk about her. She passed away when I was in secondary three. So, unfortunately, she never get a chance to see um, me becoming a lawyer one day. But I remembered that she did say that if one day you did become a successful person, don't forget to help others. My discipline master in Bendima Secondary School back then, he reminded me that if you want to become a lawyer one day, don't forget to serve the least, the last and the lost. You are there to help people solve their problem and you don't just have an impact in that person's life, but the family members and the people around that person as well. I run a legal clinic twice a month. Residents are able to share these problems with the volunteer lawyers in confidence. Some of the cases that I've dealt with would be where women who have been victims of domestic violence come to me to seek help. They do not dare to approach the relevant uh, authorities. I think we can do more to have a platform where they will feel they are at ease to come to us, to open up and to share with us the problems. There are also situations where senior citizens, uh, their partners have unfortunately become mentally incapacitated. Financially, they are strapped. I always think of how I can help to make their life better, try and help them resolve and overcome this issue as fast as possible. The damage cut to the very minimum. Residents who feel that they are lost and helpless. I'll be the one who will try to come into the picture to help and assist them. If there is a need for me to be their voice in the parliament to change the law so that the situations can be overcome in the future, this will be the things that I'm happy to do. I hope that people will see that Singapore is a place where we are compassionate. We know that there are problems that need to be solved. We are understanding and we'll work together to solve it.